and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about the new upcoming Batman Asylum game. But PC Gamer had something to say about the newest trailer that came out. So let's go ahead and see what they have to say. Watch a latex-clad billionaire punch out poor people in the debut gameplay trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. So before we get into this article, let's go ahead and check out this gameplay trailer. This rat cult spreads through Gotham like a plague. I have to stop it, even if it consumes me. The corrupt system has failed you. Are you not angry? Fight back. It's the freaking bat. We aren't afraid of you. The bat dies tonight. Jim, this Rat King could be anywhere. A face in the crowd, a foot soldier in his own fanatical mob. So how in the hell do we find him? Targets are all city employees. Civil servants, public officials. You could have been more than a symbol. You could have been a god. Look out! Calm down. Someone's going to die. Alfred, we tried it your way. Now we do it mine. Something big's going down tonight. We repress our rage. Our fears. It feeds the shadow deep inside us. You're everything that's wrong with Gotham! I'm done holding back! I can bring the Rat King to you. Okay. Yeah. See, the... Yeah. So honestly, based on the trailer, I quite like the look. I haven't played the Arkham games yet. I do intend on doing that. And with this, it definitely makes me want to go and do that even more. And with the article saying that I get to punch poor people, hey, I'm in. Now, look, honestly, this game, it looks kind of cool. The problem I see with it is that it's for VR. That's what I really have against this game is it's VR and you know the oculus or whatever you need for this is freaking expensive now as a 3d you know artist designer type I have indeed worked with a VR studio you know we created a shopping center basically a little shop where you can you know because I was in the shoe industry where you could look at shoes now, it was definitely a fun gimmick. It was definitely fun to show customers what the VR can do. And yeah, you know, Steam had a few cool games at the time that we could also show our customers and, you know, let them get a, a feel for the VR and just, you know, hey, look, this is something that might be coming in the future. Look, right now, the way VR is, it's not for the future. It's really not for gaming like it at least not for me now do i think that the technology can be pushed far enough to actually be good yes i do and i mean there are examples definitely in anime if you go and watch sword art online or shangri-la frontier Probably better Shangri-La Frontier because, you know, you you don't actually, yeah, you, it's a whole thing. You don't actually die in the game and die in real life that way. But hey, look, 
but it's it's basically called a full dive where you, where you basically your body goes to sleep or something and you're fully immersed in this game and it's like it's it feels like real life to be honest if it's if we ever get to that point or something similar to that i think it could be pretty damn cool but as of right now i think this is a bad move i Looks like they heard the fans actually after their disastrous injustice game where they killed the Batman where they're like, OK, maybe we should go back to, you know, making Batman a good guy. And then they made it VR. But that's not it because PC Gamer had something to say about it. The first ever gameplay trailer for the upcoming Batman Arkham Shadow appeared at Gamescon opening night live showcase tonight, giving us our first proper look at the upcoming VR take on the adventures of the most therapy adverse billionaire in history. PC Gamer, do I need to say more? The new trailer focuses on exploration, dialogue, and, of course, plenty of fisticuffs. As the world's greatest detective whomps the living hell out of dozens of flunkies and underlings on his way to ensuring that nothing ever really gets better in the bleak, crumbling metropolis of Gotham City. Oh, they really are hating on Batman, aren't they? What about all the fans that enjoy Batman, PC Gamer? A corrupt system has failed you. The villainous Rat King, at least, I assume that's the Rat King, says at one point, Are you not angry? Fight back. The man has a point, right? If your life is an endless swamp of fertility and hopelessness, and the best the people in power can offer is a sock in the tops from a guy dressed up like a flying rat. Well, I think I'd be a little angry about things, too. Wow! PC Gamer really hates them. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Batman Arkham Shadow Developer Camouflage that his name, says it's reimagined the core Arkham experience for VR and was particularly inspired by the intricate and interconnected level design. The Arkham Asylum, the new game is set between the events of Arkham Origins and Arkham Asylum and will feature Roger Craig Smith, the voice of Batman in Arkham Origins, in the title role, along fellow Arkham veterans Troy Baker and Harvey Dent, Tara Strong as Dr. Harley Quinzel, Mark Ralston as James Gordon, and Martin Gervais as Alfred Pennyworth. Batman Arkham Shadow will push Meta Quest 3 to its limits, giving players an up close look at Gotham City and delivering an Arkham experience. That will resonate with longtime fans, Meta said in a press blurb. What is a blurb? Is that like a tweet? I don't know, probably. We're very excited about this one and can't wait to get it in our hands come October. Except for PC Gamer wants you to believe that Batman is actually the bad guy. The Rat King, the bad guy, is actually the good guy. And you should hate. Batman. At least they have acknowledged that fans will enjoy this game and dive into Gotham City and enjoy it. Of course, most longtime fans of the Arkham games won't get much out of this one, regardless of how long it ultimately proves to be. Being a VR game, a Meta Quest 3 exclusive at that puts it beyond the reach of most gamers. See, this is what I'm actually saying that it this sadly does put a hamper into the game. And on this point, I do have to agree with PC Gamer. 
except for everything else they said I don't agree with. For those packing metas at latest and greatest VR rig, Batman Arkham Shadow looks like it might be pretty solid, but after nearly 10 years since the last proper Arkham game, that being Arkham Knight in 2015, no, I'm not including Suicide Squad here, oh, because it was dog shit and the fans hated it? You can understand why Arkham fans as a whole might be a little disappointed, as a release date for Batman Arkham Shadow hasn't been set at this point, but it's stated to arrive sometime in October. Andy Chalk, who wrote this article, definitely hates Batman. He hates everything about it. He hates you as a fan, if you are a fan of Batman. I'm included. Now, again, I will iterate this game. It does look pretty cool, but sadly for the VR, I just can't do anything with that. I don't have a VR. I don't have the money to put into buying everything I need for just this one game. My hope is that when this game comes out, it resonates well with the fans that do have this set up, this VR rig that they need, and that the studio decides, you know what, let's make a proper Arkham game out of this. That would be pretty damn cool. And I do want to say that over on the gaming den, I do want to play the Arkham games. I think I will start with them soon. Maybe. Probably closer to fall. We'll see. Stay tuned and let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Let me know down in the comments below if you are going to be checking out this game. And if you do check out this game, also let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Whatever floats your boat. And hey, consider subscribing. And if you do that, hit the bell for notifications. Because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are actually interested in seeing these videos. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. And until next time, take care.